ladies and gentlemen, please like and subscribe, dislike, please articulate and comment in all caps if you don't like something I said, I'm welcoming all angles. I appreciate every subscriber. I appreciate anybody get anything out of these videos. I gotta, I gotta do that sometime. I gotta let people know I'm in a humble place. Even if I got, even if I can get one day five thousand subscribers, I gotta always be thankful that you guys are even subscribing. Shit. So these are these are the day ones. You know the ones that's here with the when I only had twelve subscribers and shit. I don't know if all y'all come back or not. It don't even matter, but. Who's ever coming back, who's ever liking, who's ever disliking, whoever saying anything, I appreciate the shit out of you. Uh, let's get straight to it. CM Punk has set the internet ablaze. Just got to say real quick for absolutely anybody that says CM Punk isn't a draw or ever said that. Yeah, you're a liar. You're lying to yourself. You're a secret fan. Just admit it, you know, um. You watch everything he does, but yeah, he's no, he's not a draw. Okay, this guy got a half a million, literally like five hundred k as we speak in counting. He might be seven hundred k right now, within a day. Like it's just now, a few hours ago, became twenty four hours. So compared to you know when that video dropped, so like if that don't tell you any, everything, like bro, he's about to get a million views off a long awaited interview that we wanted to know what was going on with AEW and etc and how he felt about Vince and all this other stuff um of course you already know the biggest thing everybody's talking about what he said about AEW uh did he bury Tony Khan did he bury AEW I don't think he buried anybody I think he was just telling you exactly what everybody was already speculating he just confirmed it Tony Khan well cousin Khan like I said in my video He's scamming himself. Go check that out. Tony Khan scamming himself. Uh, cousin Khan. He's cousin Khan. You know, and um, you know, he he described it as he's a family businessman. This isn't. He he just want to get people paid and not really like. Th this is two K universe mode. You know, there's no rules and set in his world. You know. Unfortunately, he's got to pay for this, that, third, and all this other stuff. He's losing more money than gaining, but this is the WWE 2K universe mode to him. You know, just let me just go to community creations, aka the the uh, free agent market in the real world, and let me just download people to community creations. Let me buy people <laughs> in the real life world of the free agent market. It's you know he confirmed everything we already said. Tell that man when he was telling lies. You know, um. You know, everything he said, you know, this is what makes CM Punk, CM Punk, he's, th this is my thing, for anybody to think he's lying, you don't, you don't know body language, you haven't really studied it, and I'm, I'm in the midst of studying it, but body language is so important, um, there was no nervousness, there was no tipping of the finger, there was no fidgeting, there was no looking around to your right angle of your brain to think and create process things you know and then you got your left side that collects information and it's just subconscious i could have got it wrong but it's you get what i'm saying if you know anything about the brain and how it operates uh you could just tell cm punk and then let's look at the facials facials tell a lot too some people can tell a bold face lie but you got to think it's a bold face that means there's no emotion so therefore, they con you with that. Punk has his eyes raised up, his eyes kind of bigged up when he's talking, because you can tell like he's saying it from the heart. When somebody say it from the heart, usually if you pay attention, their eyebrows were kind of raised up, basically like, hey, it's it's getting intense. So it makes you feel a certain way bringing up certain sub subjects, but the body language could tell its intensity. He was even saying, "I was fired." I. You know, I might get people fired up and I'm getting fired up talking about. It. So that that lets you know his body language tells everything. The man wasn't lying about a damn thing he said. And that's why I got a video when he first came back to WWE, the Survivor Series, that he is the best worker. Um, He know how to work your nerves or work for you. 
go check that video out. That, that's exactly what he is. It's a short video. Like, this is going to be kind of short because really, what do I really need to explain? You know, what he said about Vince, that's that's what he's going to say about Vince. What can I say? You know, um, but of but of course, the biggest thing, everybody's got their uh, taste on Vince, you know, so I leave that to the courts. And when that when that come out, when whenever that happens, that's when I'll get on that. I'm not even worried about even more things that contribute to it, more accurate allegations or evidence, whatever. When that all is over, then I'll I'll put my note on it. I already said what I said about it. You know, and uh CM Punk. Yeah, he just the the guy's polarizing, man. Uh check out my next video though. Who's more polarizing, John Cena or CM Punk? I'll let y'all comment below. That's just for my next video. I'm just letting y'all know that. But um what what more could I really really say? You know, like the Jay Z song with Pharrell. You feel me? So um it sucks that AEW is exactly what everybody's been saying for a while. And CM Punk actually living through it, through first person hand experiences, um, that tells you everything you really need to know. You know? I mean, Jack Perry wanted to do some irresponsible shit. And, you know, the elite. By the way, I just got to say get rid of the EVPs, not fire them, to get rid of that power. Get rid of their influence. Um, they're they're not best for business. Not not good for the business. And you know, uh, if all these bags that they fumbled don't tell you anything, then what does? If Jay Cargo, if AEW was a great business model, a great business uh investment, I think Jay would have stayed. He got money. This isn't leaving ECW. When ECW was struggling for everybody, that's not the same thing. This is just like leaving WCW. They got the money. They could pay you wazoo cash. Everybody's there getting paid. Half of them are there getting paid doing shit. Speaking of, he did get rid of some people today. Um, which is shocking. What what way to go, Tony Khan? Uh, you need to get rid of some more people though. And I'm not gonna say I can't really think of who. But that's for you to decide. I think you need to add at least about 10 more people just to clear your roster up a little bit more. Um, but, yeah. Um, like I said, Cody would have stayed. CM Punk would have. Well, CM Punk explained his situation really wasn't the money. Of course, the money can contribute. Of course, you, you're in this business of making money. Ladies and gentlemen, when, when Stone Cold said when Stone Cold said, if you're not in the business to be world champion, he did not mean put on five-star matches, have the best in-ring, bell-to-bell matches of the night. No, that means you're here to make money. World champion makes the most money. I mean, I don't know if they do or don't, honestly, but like, they're, it put like this, even if they don't, let's say if you got Brock Lesnar on the, on the roster and I'm Chad Gable, I just won the world title. Am I going to get paid more to Brock? No, but my stock will rise because I'm the world champion. So if you're not getting paid more than a legend before you, your stock is rised. And especially if the company, the machines behind you, especially if the machine been putting, you know what I'm saying? They've been really investing in you to really bring this out to even get you a world championship shot to begin with where you can win, and it makes sense to begin with. So, yes, when Stone Cold said that, that was not to be a mark. That is simply, you are in this business to make money. It's that fucking simple. That's why you should be any champion. In hindsight, that's what he was really saying. The championships make you the money. Make the money. It's not about going out there, beating your fucking bodies up for half of a half of a building crowd bro not you know how depressing it is to see that when i see these after photos of aew can't even fill up an arena my my boy edge is talking and he's trying his best to really like work with what he got it, my nigga edge ain't used to no little bitty indie crowds no more 
He's not used to that. He's used to thousands. Of, he's used to that shit. So I know there's got to be frustrating for Edge and Christian and et cetera that's really trying to do stuff. I know there's got to be frustrating for Tony Storm and all them. But it's, I'm sure it's not because they're getting money. But they want to help. They're there. They signed the contract. They know what they signed up for. Tony Khan, you know, okay, if you're making changes by getting rid of people, you're letting, you're cutting budgets, you're saving some damn money, then, okay, you need to completely change the show. You need to completely change the entire direction of the show. And, and I mean, I feel like if CM Punk ruffled your feathers with that interview, then you need to look at that interview and be like, you know what? Instead of being in my feelings and, oh, screw him and er, 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 let me look at this. You're like, you know what? He's right. Let's let's prove that we're in this to make money, not to approve to Dave Meltzer and a bunch of guys that's on the Internet that's never took a bump in their life or won't take a bump in their life. Even if you fantasize about it, half of you really wouldn't do it. It's not an easy task. If everybody could do it, then we'll do it. It's not. It's not for everybody. And yes, as a fan, the internet, social media has gave you the right to comment and all this other shit, but it doesn't give you the right to... It doesn't give you the right to think you know anything. That's why I said, I'm not always right about anything. I'm a fan at the end of the day. I don't know shit. Just like the next person with a YouTube channel. He don't know shit. He or she don't know shit. You're not behind the scenes. You're not having conversations with these wrestlers. You're not in the midst anywhere. Hell, Dave Meltzer has more credibility. That's why it's controversial with his five-star rating. Because he's in the business. He knows things. Really, it's just funny with his five-star situation. He should know better, basically. That's an, I already made a video about that. Dave Meltzer, five-star rating. Check that out, too. But, um, yeah, man, CM Punk's the man. He's proven it again. Be, be tuned in for John Cena or CM Punk, who's more polarizing. Um, be tuned in. Um, like and subscribe, dislike, uh, share. All the other good stuff. What do you guys think of the CM Punk uh, interview, aka Pipe Bomb? Because like, I, like I said, I don't think he really buried anybody. I just think he, you know, he's just brutally honest. And if you know anybody that's brutally honest in real life, you know damn well they just gonna say whatever. And they don't people like that that just say whatever on their mind. They don't really even know how to lie. Honestly, they're j clearly joking when they're lying. They're easy to catch when they're lying because they don't really even know how to. But, anywho, like and subscribe. Shouts out to CM Bonk. Um, Like and subscribe. All that good shit. We're out.